students so myself you will korea from lg institute of engineering and technology so in today's session we have to start one new chapter that is mathematical representation of solid okay weightage of this chapter in gtu that is 10 percentage and in today's session we have to cover main two topic first one that is what is geometry and what is topology and second one that is comparison of wireframe modeling surface modeling and solid modeling so what is geometry and what is topology that we have to discuss now so complete part representation including topological and geometrical data is if any of the in geometry there is two things covers that is the first one that is shape of any of the object and second one that is dimension of any of the object these two things cover in the geometry and in topology in topology the connectivity how to connect any of the two objects or how to connect any of the two or uh, element that is the uh, topology clear so the connectivity and associativity of the object entities it determine the relation relational information between object entities clear suppose if we have to uh, connect two straight line that times these two straight line consider as a two entities and uh, we have to define one relation between them Support variation engineering applications such as mass properties, like mechanism analysis, FEA, means finite element analysis, FEM, that means finite element method, and tool path creation for CNC and so on. So, this is the uh, various engineering application of the geometry and topology. So, uh, we have to understand geometry and what is topology uh, based on the, we have to understand based on this diagram. In first diagram indicate that is same geometry but different topology. So in first figure you can uh, see, uh, observe that there is three straight line L1, L2, L3 and one arc capital R and one point is P1 and uh, uh, the center is C1. So that is the uh, first figure indicate. So in first figure indicate that is same geometry but different topology. Same geometry that means shape of all entities are same but and also dimension also same but the uh, top view of the object or uh, front view of the object are different so this is indicate same geometry but different topology means dimension of all uh, all the entities are same but shape of the entities are different okay so that is indicate first diagram that is same geometry but different topology means uh, distance of L1, L2 and L3 in both the figure are same clear but shape of the object are different now our next figure indicate that is different geometry but same topology that means once you observe both the figure that look like same but the dimension of all the entities are different means L1 uh, uh, dimension of L1 in first figure and dimension L1 in second figure both the value is different so this is the uh, based on this diagram you can easily understand that what is the uh, uh, how consider we have any of the two object is in same geometry in different uh, topology and different geometry and same topology so this is the basic things of geometry and topology now next what is wireframe modeling developed in 1960 wireframe modeling developed in 1960 and refer as a stick figure on an age representation means we have to represent any of the object with its age okay the word wireframe is related to the fact that one may imagine a wire that is meant to follow the object is to generate a model means based on ages we have to generate one 3D model that is the wireframe modeling. In wireframe modeling is one type of hollow modeling. Okay, you already know what is hollow modeling and what is wireframe modeling. We already discussed this thing in introduction part of this subject. The model consists entity of points, line, arc and circle. In wireframe modeling, we have to consider this much of entities like a straight line, one point, arc, circle, conics and curves. All the entities uh, consider as in wireframe modeling. In 3D wireframe modeler, an object is not recorded as a solid. In wireframe modeling, you cannot consider any of the object as a solid model. Instead of vertices that define the boundary of object, 
of the intersection of the edges of the object boundary are recorded as collection of points and their connectivities. So in wireframe modeling, we have to define connectivity of any of the two entities like line, circle, uh, conics or points. Clear? In wireframe modeling, you have to define the uh, wireframe modeling with all the entities and uh, connectivity of all the entities. Now we have to uh, see uh, some example of wireframe modeling. So this is the good example of wireframe modeling. Here is one isometric view of any of the object. Based on isometric view, uh, now you already know what is orthographic projection. So if we have any of the object, then based on this object, we can draw the front view, side view, and top view of that object. So uh, in this diagram, uh, we draw. One 3D object is there, and we draw three view of that 3D object. First one that is top view. In below top view, front view is there, and inside, right hand side view is there. Okay, so this is the and this diagram is not a solid model, this diagram is a wireframe model. Okay, so this is the good example of wireframe modeling. And next one that is surface modeling. Now, what is surface modeling? Surface modeling means it is useful in the uh, straight, like uh, if we have to draw a roof of the car or some type of we have to generate one surface at that time, we have to use. Surface modeling. A surface model is a set of faces. Means we have to bound number of faces and we have to generate one solid part. Clear? Bound the number of faces and we have to generate solid part. That is surface modeling. A surface model consists of wireframe entities that form the basis of create surface entities. In general, a wireframe model can be extended from a surface model by deleting or blanking all the surface entities. Clear? Means if once we have a number of surfaces and we bound all the surfaces at that time we have to generate one 3D model. That is the surface model. Shape, design and representation of complex objects such as car, sea, aeroplane bodies as well as casting. All these things uh, generated or uh, created by surface modeling. Used to be separated shape model are now incorporated into solid model. Clear? Means uh, we have to generate this solid modeler in Proix so software, in Creo software. That is the different types of modeling software like SolidWorks, Solid is all are the modeling software. Okay. Now our uh, next one that is example of surface modeling. This is a good example of surface modeling. It is the surface of revolution. We have just one uh, surface, one cross section of of the object. At that time, we have to rotate this cross section area at 360 degree and we have to generate one cup like this clear so this is the example of surface model okay this is the good example of surface modeling now last solid modeling now what is solid modeling how we have to generate solid modeling so lots of methods uh, are available in uh, modeling software to generate a solid model solid modeling is the most advanced method of geometric modeling in three dimensional means we have means we have to uh, create any of the 3D model at that time we have to use solid modeling. In solid modeling uh, lots of command is there like extrude, what is substrate, what is revolving, chamfering, fillet, all are the features of the solid modeling. The solid modeling is the representation of solid parts of the object on your computer. The typical geometrical model is made up of wireframe that show the object in the form of wire. It means once you have generated one 3D model at after that, you can convert that 3D model into the wireframe model. Okay. This wireframe structure can be two dimensional, two and a half dimensional, or three dimensional. Now, what is the difference between two dimensional? Two dimensional means we have only value of two coordinates in x axis and in y axis. What is two and a half dimensional? Two and a half dimensional body. That means we have data of only two coordinates, x and y, but we have we have uh, Data not available for the z-axis, but in the model you can visualize that z-axis is there and some portion of in the, you can visualize object in 3D model, but side face value is not available. That types of model consider in a two and a half D modeling and 3D modeling means here we have all the data available for all the three axes. Okay, so this is the two D modeling, two and a half D modeling, and three D modeling. You have to remember that in two and a half D modeling, data of side faces not available. Provide surface representation, uh, representation to the wire, three dimensional view of geometrical modeling, map object appears solid on the computer screen and 
This is what is called as solid modeling. So now you can understand what is wireframe modeling, what is surface modeling, and what is solid modeling. So you can easily differentiate that what is which kind of object consider as a surface modeling, which kind of object consider as a wireframe modeling, and which kind of object, object are considered in a solid modeling. Okay, so now this is my most important question asked in the exam that is uh, uh, differentiate solid modeling, surface modeling, and uh, 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 su surface modeling, solid modeling, and wireframe modeling. Which exam? So you have to understand all these things in detail. Now, this is the good example of the uh, solid modeling. So, this is the all object is well known. You already learn all these objects, and uh, you can draw all the object front view, side view, and top view. In your subject engineering graphics, you already learn this based on orthographic projection. You can draw side view, front view, and top view all the object using this uh, diagram. Okay, so this is the all the four parts considered as a solid modeling. And once you have to uh, convert this part into wireframe modeling using software, and you can draw uh, front view, side view, top view using first angle method or using third angle method. Yeah, you have to generate uh, say, uh, all the this is this view is considered as an isometric view. Any of the object in 3D object, that object is considered as an isometric view. Yeah. So in today's session, we start one new chapter that is uh, mathematical representation of solid. The meaning of this name of this chapter that is in this chapter we have to generate 3D model using different types of method. There is lots of method to generate. Uh, any of the model in 2D to 3D. So in this chapter, we have to convert any of in 3D model, any of the of the 2D two dimensional entities into 3D model using suppose what is extrude means you have one square. If you want to if you extend this square, then that part uh, consider in a solid form. Surface of revolution. If we have one solid parts, if we have to apply fillet on this object at that time. What is fillet? That already you learned in manufacturing uh, one and two. Clear? Yeah. What is fillet? What is chamfer? Clear? Yeah. So all these things we have to apply in this chapter. Clear? Yeah. Means in this chapter we have to learn lots of method to generate a uh, 3D model. Okay. So that all the method we have to discuss in our next section. Okay. Thank you.